Holly River the Vault here. Welcome back to more Disney Dreamlight Valley. We're gonna go ahead and jump in. So I'll see you all back in just a second. So, ladies and gentlemen, we are at a point in the game where I can't really go forward at this point. I'm just kind of stuck here. Unless I go into one of these realms, which hopefully will allow me to actually get some dream light and maybe move on a little bit with the story. So there there are multiple places. There are a few doors down there that are 3,000 to get into. I don't think these can I get in. I can get into that one, which I think that's the frozen world. So some of these I can get into, some of them I can't, but I guess I should start with these three down here. So we have this one for 3,000 and this one for 3,000. I think this is the Ratatouille world. All right, so you're the only one who can use Dreamlight to open this door. Inside you'll discover a kitchen with a surprising little chef. All right, so let's go ahead and work on the Ratatouille one. Might as well. Here we are, we're gonna go, I guess, to France. I guess we're now in France. Uh-oh. Remy's a little upset. Hmm. Why is Remy out of focus? <laughs> All right. It didn't give me enough time to uh, track this, I noticed. It kind of asked as we were heading in. All right. So here we go. So, oh, uh, hello, human I don't know. I'm Remy, and you look like you're listening to me. Wait, you understand me? Of course I can understand everyone here. I'm Amber. But you don't usually see rats in the kitchen. Let's say, um, I'm a huge ah. fan. You are? You mean you've heard of my restaurant, La Ratatouille? <laughs> ha! Silly me, of course you have. You're here. That's great. Sorry to cut this chit-chat short, but I gotta get moving. Uh. The dining room's filling up and most of my staff's out sick. Plus, there's a food critic visiting tonight, and I've gotta make a good impression. If he gives our food a bad review, it'll be a disaster. Alright, ugh. Critics are the worst. <laughs> Some, sure. Come on, Remy. <laughs> but every now and then, you'll find one that really gets food, and that can change your life. Have you ever worked in a kitchen before? Um, I can't make burnt toast. Yeah. Hey, anyone can cook. Stick with me and I'll teach you the basics. But there's something we have to do first before we can cook. Right now, I need you to wash the dishes. Uh, ever heard of a dishwasher? Yes, and ours is broken. The repair person will be here tomorrow. But for now, it's a sink, water, soap, and elbow grease. Thanks! Okay, so, oh, it says watering can to do the dishes. Okay, I guess I'm gonna wash dishes with a watering can, I I guess. I don't know if I wanna eat out of this kitchen though, I'm gonna be honest. A little dirty there, Remy. Don't know if I, I agree with the watering can version of, ah, of dishwashing. Okay, let's open this. Hopefully it'll be something good. All right, now we're done with that. Clean dishes, fantastic, thank oh. you. Hey, as long as you're still here, how do you feel about cooking? Uh, never really thought about it, I guess. I, a lot of people don't, and that is a shame. Mm. Let me show you how amazing cooking can be. Let's get Ow. started. Great, we're preparing a couple dishes. One with fish, one mm. with fruit. Mm. You'll find the ingredients we need around the kitchen. We work well as a team. Okay, so find a fish and prepare any meal using it. Okay, we can do that. Let's do our rainbow trout. And a lettuce and a zucchini? Why not? Too bad I can't get a potato seed from you, Remy. All right. Uh, there we go. Right. Now, I believe these three will make something, right? Hopefully. <laughs> there we go. Grilled fish entree. Awesome. Oh, boy. That was fast. <laughs> okay. So now that is a perfect presentation. You really understand complimentary flavors. Uh, I just threw stuff together. Don't sell yourself short. You've got talent. You just need practice. Huh. Let's see if you can do it again. This time with fruit. Thanks. Okay. And we know from making enough fruit salad in this game that we can just use the apple. Make ourselves a fruit salad. Doesn't need to be anything special. Right. So let's just use that. We're trying to make this easy on ourselves, not complicated. All right, we've got our fruit salad. Bonjour. I'm impressed. You've definitely got talent, Amber. <laughs> Clearly, you know your way around the kitchen. Evidence, your two huh? dishes. But we need to hurry. The food critic is getting impatient out there. Are you ready to make something a little more complicated? I guess. Uh, mm. And I really appreciate mm. that because I need you to make a three course dinner. 
it'll be tonight's prefix. And hey, you can even design it. First choice, an appetizer. Hearty salad or bell pepper puffs. Let's go with the bell pepper puffs. Okay, you'll need bell pepper, cheese, and egg. We work well as a team. Do we? Do we, Patton Oswalt? Okay. <laughs> we also need an egg. All right, we've got the three things. I believe that's one. Why am I walking into the thing? Oh, I believe this is one recipe we actually do have. Yeah, there we go. Sweet. All right. Not too bad. Hey, I'm impressed. You've definitely got talent, Amber. Clearly, you know your way around the kitchen. Evidence, your two dishes. Uh -huh. But we need to hurry. Wait, what? A little bit more complicated. Mm -hmm. We just did this. We literally just did this. And here are the bell soon. pepper puffs. Okay, that's weird. <laughs> I don't know why it did that. Okay, well, here they are, Remy. Oh, look at this appetizer you've created. Look at this experience you've created. See, each flavor is unique, but the way you've combined them creates something new. And it's not always about innovation. Sometimes you evoke the past. Food can bring back memories. Yes, like family yeah. recipes. Exactly. Now we want to make a dish that reminds people of something comforting. For our main course, we have a pizza margarita or a vegetable casserole. I will go with the, um, I guess uh -huh. the pizza. Excellent choice. Find the base recipe for pizza. It's somewhere here. Then use spices to adjust the flavor so it's a pizza margarita. We work well as a team. I'm supposed to, oh, here we go. This is probably it. Um, I guess I need to read it, huh? Oh yeah, here we go. <laughs> Do I not need to read it? I guess not. Wheat, tomato, cheese. Um, and then we need a spice. It's wheat, tomato, cheese. Wheat, tomato, cheese. Wheat, tomato, cheese. Wheat, tomato, cheese. I'm trying to remember. Wheat, tomato, and cheese. Okay. So we have wheat, tomato, cheese, and a spicy spice. Here we go. Cheese, tomato, oregano, and wheat. Please work. Ha! There we go. All right. There we go, Remy. Only I could get some cheese at home. The dish was perfect, but you're not done. The last course is dessert. Desserts are very important. They're the final taste the customer leaves with. Okay, I guess. If we don't offer fabulous desserts, that food critic is going to roast us. Okay. Do you want to bake a banana pie or an apple pie? Um, I guess an apple pie. Classic. Now for this one, I'll let you work on your own. You'll need three ingredients. And remember, the key to a good pie is butter. Au revoir. Um, I'm assuming... If I'm going to make an apple pie, I'm going to take a couple things because if I screw it up, I don't want to have to come back. I'll need three ingredients. I'm assuming it's just egg, butter, and we or butter, wait, butter, <laughs> butter, apple, and wheat. That's what I'm assuming it is. I mean, obviously, in real life, that's not enough. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Aha! An apple pie! Sweet. I feel like I've cracked the game's algorithm. Alright. So, I'll give you an apple pie. Here you go, sir. Hello. The dinner rush has started. Oh. Order up! Someone wants a ranch salad. I'll leave this order to you, but here's a quick hint. Our ranch salad is made from lettuce, tomato, corn, bell pepper, and onions. Lettuce, tomato, nice. corn, bell pepper, onions. Lettuce, tomato, corn, bell pepper, onions, lettuce, tomato, I'm going to forget this, corn, bell pepper, and onion. Hopefully I don't forget this. How is that a ranch salad? Look, I love salads and I particularly love our good ranch salad, but that doesn't scream ranch salad to me. Okay. Oop, not wheat. <laughs> I didn't want wheat. Sorry, lettuce, bell pepper, corn, tomato, onion. Let's see what this gives us. Please be a ranch salad. Ah, sweet. Okay. Except there's clearly cucumbers in there. 
Oh, ah, wrong buttons. Okay. Hey. Here we go. Hello. Uh. Hope to see you soon. Oh, I gotta place it in the serving hatch. Okay, I was like, I definitely made it. All right, let's see. Transfer. All right, there we go. Bonjour. The critic is ready for his main course, and of course he's ordered my specialty, the ratatouille. Uh -huh. I'm in the middle of three other orders. Can you help? Prepare the perfect ratatouille. <laughs> I've watched you cook. You can do this. Mm -hmm. It's vegetables and spices and memories. Go. Au revoir. What? How in the hell am I supposed to know what's in a ratatouille? It's vegetables and spices and memories? That doesn't tell me what's in a ratatouille, dude. I guess... I am just going to grab these and hope for the best. Why would it not tell you what the recipe is? That's kind of asinine, isn't it? Um, just put all these things in, I guess. I have no idea. And a tomato. I, I don't know. Let's see what this says. It gave me a salad. <laughs> Okay, dude, you gotta tell me the recipe. I can't just guess what the recipe is. That is not how this works. Okay, this is... I'm not even kidding you. This is what we're doing. Right now, I'm Googling Disney Dreamlight Ratatouille recipe. Because the thing is... That... That is ridiculous. That's ridiculous. I, I don't know why it would not just tell you what the recipe was. All right. I literally looked up the recipe. I'm not playing games with this game. Um, we are just going to look up what the recipe is. So it turns out that the ratatouille recipe needs a tomato, an eggplant, a zucchini, an onion, and any spice. So we're gonna go ahead and grab basil because why not? We've got that. We also need an onion. And then we need tomato, eggplant, and zucchini. I think that that's really goofy that they just want you to figure it out on your own. That's one of those small things in this game that I feel like was just thrown in to make it harder. I, I'm just not going to waste my time on that. You know what I mean? Like, just tell me what's in it. I've never eaten a ratatouille before. Let's see. Let's make sure it's correct. Tomato, eggplant, zucchini, onion, and any spice. All right. Show me that ratatouille. All right. There we go. Gosh. To be honest, I am not a fan of that. Hello. Oh, that's right. I have to go stick it over there. Sorry about that. I forgot I have to put it on the serving hutch. Yep. See you too. Okay. A tattooy transfer. Alrighty. The food critic gave five stars to the ratatouille. What a relief! Thank you, thank you, thank you. You know, Amber, you are a very talented chef. Any chance you want to come work for me? Actually, I have a restaurant for you in my village. We could cook together again. I'd like that. We make a good mm. team. Colette and Linguini can manage without me for a while. Mm. You know what? I'll do it. I'll go to your village and help you with your restaurant. Wait, does this job offer come with housing? I can't sleep in the kitchen. Wouldn't be hygienic. I'll definitely need a house before I can go. We work well as a team. Do we? Okay, let's go in here. It's so funny. I, I guess this is going to sound so stupid. I did not realize that... Remy was was Patton Oswalt until I heard someone say it and then it was like oh my god yes of course that is <laughs> and then I felt like a complete idiot because I was like well yeah that makes sense oh boy okay so we are going to have to place Remy's house um let's see we have it ooh, ooh, that's a big house huh well this is his restaurant I wonder if can I move the restaurant first might not be able to. Yeah, there's a bunch of night thorns there. Let me go get rid of those night thorns. And then let's move the restaurant over. And then put his house next to the restaurant. I feel like that would make sense to me. Okay. That. There we go. So now the restaurant is there. Share a Then here. To move that first, though. We're gonna have to move this table first. There we go. Now, come on. Let me place it. <laughs> there we go. Oh, I'm gonna have to pay for this, aren't I? Just like I did for Wally. I hope I, I don't know if I have enough coins. 
Greetings, neighbor. Okay, Remy may be a wee chef, but he's got refined tastes and grand expectations. If you want a house that's up to his standards, you'll have to pay handsomely. Huh? Oh, I meant to click pay. Hello. I'm sorry about that. Let's make sure. Nope, not what I wanted. What? Bye -bye. <laughs> oh my god. Here we go. Oh, greetings, neighbor. <laughs> nice. Okay, with such a fine chef around, the valley's economy can really get cooking. Wow. <laughs> that was so cheesy. All right, welcome, Remy! All right, maybe the restaurant will be boarded up anymore? Oh my gosh, look how tiny he is. He looks so happy. Hello, Rami. All right. Oh, oh, we better take our, our picture with him. OK, I forgot how to do this already. He's he's very small. <laughs> I mean, basically, we are not even like pointing at him. <laughs> this, is so, this is so goofy. OK, I guess that'll work. Um, but why is she looking down as if she's uncomfortable with the camera? Anyone explain that one to me? <laughs> well, there we go. Well, at least we got Remy. Oh, yeah, I guess we're going to save the picture as well. Might as well. Might as well. All right. Time to welcome him. Talk to Remy and find out what his first impressions are. So, wow, this place is beautiful and familiar. I almost feel like I've been here before. Weird. Well, no time to think about that now. I have a restaurant to open. All right. Uh, are, are we going to help you open? Okay, yes, we are. To so meet him at the restaurant. Perfect. I had a feeling we probably had to do something. All right. So is this it? Is this the only restaurant in the village? Wow, I guess I'm not in Paris anymore. Now, don't get me wrong. There's potential here. It just needs some love and maybe a complete renovation. But you can help me with that, right? Absolutely. I love food. I do love food. Thanks. It helps to have someone who, you know measures in their height and feet instead of inches exactly though there are advantages to being small oh yes there are i'm under five feet for example i could climb through a hole in the wall and unlock the door from the inside follow me let's see what we're dealing with oh poor remy i suppose eventually we'll be able to upgrade this restaurant because it looks pretty sad right now Ooh, where the heck am i going oh So here we go. We're going to go inside of Jeremy. And I'm going to have to move that lamp pole. I just realized. And it's completely empty. Guess we start with the basics. First up, tables and chairs. I bet Scrooge McDuck sells those. Since we'll need a lot of them, let's hope he'll give us a package deal. This place is no Paris. Well, thanks. Remy, I am doing my best, sir. I don't know why you're being so judgmental. Okay, let's grab this and move it here. There we go. And then off to see the Scrooge McDuck. Right here. Yeah, I figure he's probably going to give me another one. There we go. All right. And here we go. Uncle Scrooge. Oh, there he is. All right. Good day to you, Amber. Yes, I would like to order some items. Um, Furniture. And then, are you kidding me? I'm, yeah, I'm going to have to get more money for that. Well, that breaks my heart. Also, I kind of want that mannequin. Uh, that breaks my heart. I don't have the money to, to get it right now. That sucks. Also, I kind of like that jacket. I guess I'm going to have to go make more coins. Man, I'll tell you what. All these people are just coming into town expecting me to do everything for them. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know how I feel about that. All right, let's grab some stuff. I'm going to just sell some stuff. I might as well. Looks like I'm going to have to do these again. So if you are playing the game yourself, I, I know I've talked a little bit about this, but just make sure that when you, you do your... Oh, wait, there's more apples here. Make sure when you do your uh, watering that you get as many things as possible in your watering can at once. Because I'll tell you what, it is a pain in the ass. Some of this stuff needs to be watered more than once, too. Which I guess makes sense. It's kind of giving you like a maybe a difficulty curve there. But sometimes, sometimes I wonder. I'm like, is it really necessary? And this is supposed to be a game for children and people named Amber. 
Okay, let's go ahead and grab... Oh, we can definitely grab those. Those aren't even flowers. Let's see if we have any flowers. Yes, we do. We have some that we have extras of. I've been keeping around five just because I think that's... I don't know, probably the best option. Um, so I've been putting five back in when I do this. So we have those. And then let's also do, why do I need a carrot? I just realized I have a carrot and I don't know why. All right, let's see. Do we have more than 50 of anything else? Yes, 50 wheat. Okay. So one thing I've found is that if I just get rid of anything that I have more than 50 of, do I have that twice? I sure do. Let's do that and then take this. So if I only keep 50 of each item, I always have plenty. I have had no problems finding more or getting more later on. So I've been selling anything over 50 and it's actually turned out to be a pretty good little racket here. You can get 50 items pretty quickly. Also, if you come over and you sell things from like this area and you do the little tree trick, like I've been doing where all your trees are right here. This works great because then you can sell these items as well. I've been keeping my my wells very close to to my stalls just so I can go ahead and sell things. So let's see. I don't know why we have that random carrot seed. We're going to hold on to it, though, because it says that we need it. Let's just go ahead and choose some of these. We are already over 2000, so this is perfect. I'll tell you what, growing things, like doing your gardening and all that other stuff really, really helps. It's not a waste of time. So if you're uh, if you're thinking about it, make sure that you're doing your gardening and stuff. It is always worth having extra cash lying around. Okay. So we have the 2,000 coins and we can go ahead and we can buy Remy his furniture. Good day, dear. All right. So order some items. We need furniture. Then for Remy. Okay, never mind. And we'll come back. Perfect. I'm assuming we'll probably see some of the same items over again. I mean, it's definitely not going to be like a one and done. So I'm not too worried about purchasing things when I see them. But sometimes it is kind of nice to purchase some of the stuff you want when you see it. Let's open this quick. And is Remy not in here? Oh my gosh, are you serious little rat? Where are you? Little rat is also what I call my dog. Oh, he's in his house. Okay. I suppose that would make sense that he would be home. Not just hanging around in there. Ooh, okay. That's bigger than you, Remy. Okay, now that the customers can sit, let's think about the food. We want a well-stocked kitchen for which I have a list. I used to daydream about opening my own restaurant. I'd make lists of what I'd need, constantly adding and refining as I thought of new dishes. Using those lists, let's see, using those lists to open La Ratatouille was a dream come true. Good thing I held on to them, huh? Here, I'll handle this part of the list. Can you manage the other half? Yes, so. I suppose I don't really have a choice now, do I? Let's open this. Aha. I'll tell you what. I have those items. I can definitely do that. All right. So we have oregano, carrot, raspberry, and wheat. We have those items and we can grab them. All right. So first things first, I'm just going to transfer them all because I'm not too... I don't want to be too uh, precious about it. I just want to transfer them all. Then what was the other one? Carrot. Okay. Ooh, it turns out I have way more carrots than I thought too. All right, here we go. Remy will just take what he needs. We can put the rest back later. Wait. I assume he's still inside of his house, but I should have checked the map. Aha, there he is. All right. I love how it does each one, as if I don't know what I just gave him. Hey, All right, Amber, we have everything we need to open. Let's head to the front of the restaurant and make it happen. Hey, that I can do. Right. 
I love how he just ran over. Okay, we are opening the restaurant. I'm ready. Hold on. Gotta go through my mental checklist one more time. Wait, do we have salt? Did I forget to get salt? We can't open a restaurant without salt. We have salt. You're sure? Okay, then I think we're good. Here we go. The Chez Reme restaurant is now open. I assume I'm not supposed to say Chez Remy, even though I want to. All right, there we go. Enter the newly opened restaurant. Hey. Hello. Look, Amber, tables, chairs, food. We have opened a restaurant. I know I've done this before, but it's still really special. I can't wait to till I get my first Amazing. customer. Ooh, can I be the first hey, customer? Ew. Bonjour. Let's see. I can give you something. Let's just go ahead and give you something while I'm here. Let's give you this cocoa. That's cocoa. Works for me. For me? Wow, thanks. Okay. So, I have nothing left to say to you. I guess we are done. Let's go. Let's take a quick look here. Okay, so we still need to do this. Ten pieces of furniture. We also need to do this. I don't have enough clay yet, which is part of the problem. I haven't really gotten much clay and I haven't been able to find clay. So I think we'll have to deal with the decorations of the Forest of Valor first. I didn't mean to read the sign. I was just trying to get that. So what I think I'll have to do then is make 10 pieces of furniture, which I don't have right now. So I will have to do that off screen, which will honestly require me to do quite a bit of picking up of materials. Oh, oh, sweet. I've never actually done that before where I've gotten them all. Oh, I wonder what this is going to be. OK, we should open all these real quick. This is a furniture item. Oh, it's a washer. Maybe I should just stick that in the middle of the forest. <laughs> Why not? Oh, the black varsity jacket. OK. Uh, black slacks, because that's what everyone wants. And then grayish white evening gloves. OK, not bad. We've got some new stuff. All right, so I'm going to go off screen, do some material collecting, and then I will go ahead and make some things, place them in the forest, and we'll be able to uh, move on from there. Oh, it's going to be it's going to be a little bit of a, a collection of Palooza here. So I'll see you back in just a bit. 